friends and welcome to another video. I'm so glad that you are here because today I need to clean our bedroom which is a hot mess. A hot, 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 hot mess. And while I'm at it, give it a little bit of a refresh or a makeover if you might. And I'm really excited because it's been a long, long time coming. I'm so happy that you're here. So I'm not starting in the morning because, you know, life, I'm starting in the afternoon. So I also need to remove dinner from the freezer uh, so that we can be, can be thawing. We are having our uh, minced meat and peas pie, which I made in the two weeks uh, meal prep video. If you haven't watched it, oh my gosh, this recipe is my best. Make sure you check it out. And then now, uh, yeah, on to cleaning this room because, oh my gosh, the mess, the horror you can't even so now if you are not familiar with the fly lady system it is what we follow and she she divides the home into zones you might have seen this because I, I did a zone one cleaning video not too long ago where we were cleaning the entryway so now um yes in the procrastination video mm -hmm, a lot of things have been procrastinating on as you can see cleaning my room has been one of them so anywho uh the master bedroom falls in zone three yeah no zone four yes zone four we clean the master bedroom and bathroom so that's what i'm doing i'm not doing the zones in order by the way uh but basically the whole essence is to take a whole week to focus on cleaning one room and giving it a deep clean which is what i did as you will see this video took me <laughs> enough days to finish and that is because i mean i'm going to work and i'm taking care of babies who have been unwell for the past two weeks so yeah it's just i love the idea that the fly lady, fly lady system allows us to take a whole week to clean one room and it, it just takes into account that life happens and you don't have a whole day to focus on that one room so what was i saying anyway yeah so <laughs> zone cleaning and we're cleaning zone four. And by doing a deep clean, I'm talking about, of course, removing your bed sheets is not a deep clean because it's something that we do every week. But something like cleaning the windows, washing the curtains, polishing the furniture, which is from a hometic furniture. In case you are interested, my best plug for furniture. This is all tick furniture. I love it to bits. 
and then also flipping your mattress and all that jazz yeah basically just good going down into the nitty gritties of cleaning the whole room By the way, we bought this carpet with Agatha. Uh, how many months ago was it when we did the living room makeover video? Was it three months ago or something? Yes. So Agatha and Kurata, in case you're new here, she's an amazing, amazing pal of mine. She has a YouTube channel where she does um, interior design. She's the best. So when we went to do the living room makeover video, while we were buying the carpet for there, we also decided we might as well buy a carpet for our bedroom. And so I've been keeping it since then. Yes. I mean, what I've realized is with makeovers, at least for me, it takes a while to get everything in order because it costs money, guys. So I like to buy this thing slowly, slowly, just store it. And then I'm sure I have everything. Boom. Then I unleash it and everything becomes so awesome. It looks like it was done overnight, but it actually literally took like three whole months or four months or even six months to put together. So it's dinner time. Yes, this means meat and peas pie. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So delicious. So filling. Everything in one container. I mean, if you want to know how to make it again, check out that video because man, you're going to love it. So on to day two and not much uh, <laughs> is getting done today because one, I'm starting at night because I went to work. Yes, life just happens. Okay, it's been a whole day of work. But one thing I want to do is when I did the makeover, I uh, know when I did the meal prep video, I made coconut milk, which I used to cook. And then I kept the shavings and I've been wanting to make cashata with them. So that's what I'm about right here. Cashata is it's kofi that's what i found it's called online or it's some coconut candy for lack of a better word just put two cups of water in your pan and then put two and a half cups of sugar make a syrup with it basically if you want it to be extra spicy and all that i put some cardamom says five of them boil for about 10 to 12 minutes until the syrup is nice and thick 
And then once you are there, that's when you're going to add your desiccated coconut or your coconut shavings that you have used. I recycled mine, guys. I'm not going to throw them away, you know. And then once that is done, then let it cool down a little bit. Please remember to remove your cardamom. Did I say that? And then also just let it cool down. Put it on a baking sheet and then pat it down. Cut it nicely. More well, better than I'm doing, of course. And then let it cool. I put mine in the freezer because a girl has to move on with life and I have things to do. So yeah, I needed to rush it. And then yeah, awesome, very easy snack. And honestly, our kids have never had cachetta, so I was really looking forward to seeing how they are going to react to this. thing that i need to make while i'm at it is window cleaner because oh my gosh you guys saw how many windows we have in our room so my window cleaner is finished and i need to make more because i still have mirrors to clean and all that i bought this window cleaner by the way how many months ago did i do that my my latest my most recent uh grocery haul video i showed how i went to that shop at at otc where we buy the ingredients for making liquid detergents and all those cleaning products oh my gosh the price for window cleaner you guys you will i don't oh my gosh i don't even know how to describe how much cheaper it is so basically how to make it you will not believe it is you take this one liter of window cleaner that they give you and dilute it with four liters of water and voila there you have five liters of window cleaner <laughs> i know i shared this on instagram and i told you guys i'm going to show you the whole method of how to make it and yeah everyone thought it's probably a very intricate method no you just dilute it yeah that's it so easy by the way if you're not following me on instagram kindly do so i really appreciate you so yeah basically that's how i made this window cleaner and then went about to clean the mirrors in our room and called it a day
So remember those curtains that I removed <laughs> from my window three days ago. Well, something interesting happened in that I did not manage to wash them because again, I'm saying life is busy happening to us over here. <laughs> so <laughs> I had to put them back <laughs> because well, like it's getting dark. I mean, we cannot sleep without curtains, but I didn't put back the, the blinds. I just put back the curtains. So now it's time to wash them. Yes using these amazing tide pods and scent boosters because man let me tell you guys i love tide pods so much i love laundry pods we have aerial if you're interested or parcel just different kinds of tide pods laundry pods now they make your clothes smell so amazing they clean them to within an inch of their lives and then the scent boosters takes it to a whole new level my god Gosh, ha! Huh. So it's much later in the day, and as you've seen, our kiddos, way, way, help us, Lord. They are really not uh, having a nice week, but anyway. God is in control and he's working. Yes, even if we can't see it, we believe he's working. So now um, I'm finishing this whole thing at night because the curtains, I hung them, they dried, and then I had to take care of kiddos. And then now, I mean, we have to call it a day. So that's what I'm doing here, putting curtains back and just finishing this whole zone cleaning because it's taken a bit much too long than than I would have liked. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have to tell you about our wall hangings because the plainness of our wall has been washing me. How <laughs> do you say that in English? Has been burning me. <laughs> so anyway, I have really, really, really been wanting to put something on our walls because they were big and plain and empty and ugly. Okay, it's just so nice to have something above your bed. Now, we wanted, especially my husband, really wanted some uh, abstract work, okay? Uh, we love art, as you have seen from uh, everywhere else. But most of our art is so much nature. I mean, you have fish, you have trees, you have birds, you have flowers, lots of flowers. So my husband was like, for our bedroom, uh, we look for something abstract. Now, finding someone to print for you good artwork is no joke without costing you an arm and a leg and that's why i am here to proudly and happily plug kabusho photography because they came through like whoa so what we did is we found an image that we loved online that matched with our color scheme and then we sent it to these guys and voila lo and behold they printed it on canvas whatever size we measured the size that we wanted in our bedroom and then that's the size that they made they they printed it for us of course they also do uh photography and videography and oh my gosh you guys i'm telling you if you want to just get some serious photo shoot done these are your plug these are my plug for you guys because we do a photo shoot every year. And I love the fact that they can come to us. I don't have to drag my four children to some strange studio. And then also the quality is so amazing. Please check out Kavuchography on Instagram. 
and i'm gonna link them down below and then i mean take another look at these wall hangings can you even they really transformed our room oh my goodness yeah awesome another thing that i noticed our room was missing was greenery because it just brings life okay so when agatha and i were busy buying stuff for our living room that day those many moons ago uh we went to stage market oh my gosh best black for four flowers you guys and so we bought i bought these ones for the walls and i've been keeping them yes 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 yes, yes. oh transformation is real These duvet covers are direct from Toy Market. Yes, I did a video, a shop with me video not too long ago. Oh my gosh, they are so soft. First of all, I've been looking for white beddings. Uh, they are so soft. I love the texture. I love the embroidery. They look so amazing. The throw pillow covers are from Kamukunji Market. Yes, I did another shop with me video where I showed you. So you guys have, you can see how I've just been collecting, collecting these things for months. Just preparing for that day. And today is the day. This is the day. Ooh, this is the day that the Lord has me. Yeah, for my bedroom. Oh yeah, to get a makeover. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. So this amazing storage chest and all furniture, as I said before, is from a home Tick Furniture. If you want to see the stuff that is available there, just check out tickfurniture.co.ke and I will put them in a pinned comment down below because my gosh, your home will thank you, will thank you, will thank you. And I really needed the storage chest because... Uh, our bedroom has very minimal storage and the other chest that we have which is in the nook there by the window um, normally doesn't have 
cannot hold everything. So here I'm putting our towels, our bathing towels, our pool towels. By the way, there's an offer on towels and I'm going to, to link them below on Jumia. Please check it out. Oh my gosh, great quality towels and yeah. I've always wanted to have a seat in our room because <laughs> I don't know. It's not that necessarily I want to sit on one. Just I think it looks nice. Of course, I'll sit on it now that it's there. But even like when you walk into a hotel room, there's always like a seat somewhere looking so nice and cozy. And yeah, I mean, a girl can dream, right? And ta -da! yes, 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 I love the way it looks. Oh my gosh, I love the way it smells. I wish you guys could smell this room. My gosh, those scent boosters. If I said this also when we I was doing the when I was cleaning the living room for something, I think we're expecting yes, the scent boosters. When you wash your curtains with them. <gasps> Even the pods, because the pods also have a, f a function of fabric softening. Oh my gosh, you guys. The whole room, there's just wafting of flowers and rainbows and daisies and unicorns. Okay, it smells really, really nice, you guys. Oh, and it looks amazing. This room came out a thousand times better than I would have dreamt. Honestly, why lie? Thanks for hanging out, friend. This has been so much fun. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of the makeover, transformation, refresh thing, whatever. Um, and also watch another video. If you're interested, by the way, go back and see how this how this room looked when we first moved. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I did a video on, on our first house tour. Yeah, check it out. Watch another video on this channel. I highly, highly, highly appreciate you. And I will see you in two days time. Yeah. Okay, bye.